Alternate interior angles can be illustrated with a situation like this one. We have a pair of train tracks in blue, which represent a pair of parallel lines. We know that train tracks are always parallel. And we have a wire in black, which crosses the train tracks. The wire represents a transversal. Transversal is the name for a line that crosses a pair of other lines. Angles A and B in this diagram are alternate interior. They are alternate because they are found on opposite sides of the transversal, or opposite sides of the wire. And they are interior because they are both found in the interior of the train tracks, the interior of the pair of parallel lines. Alternate interior angles always have the same measure. They are congruent. Angles C and D are also alternate interior. They are alternate because they are found on opposite sides of the transversal, and they are interior because they are both found on the interior of the pair of parallel lines. Angles C and D, because they are alternate interior, have to have the same angular measure. They are congruent. Angles C and D do not have to have the same measure as angles A and B. Therefore, every time we make a transversal cross a pair of parallel lines, we are creating two pairs of alternate interior angles. In this case, angles A and B are one pair of alternate interior angles which are congruent, and angles C and D are another pair of alternate interior angles which are also congruent.